right, so here we have the Irwin Marples nine and a half inch double sided pull saw patterned after a Japanese Ryoba saw. And so uh, this has 17 points on this side for the cross cut and seven points per inch on this side for rip cut. So we're going to take a closer look at this and see how it does. I don't have anything to compare it to. This is the first Japanese style pull saw that I've ever owned. So we're going to give this a shot, see what we can find out. Before we begin, I would like to point out one thing about this saw that's very impressive to me, and that's found right here. Made in Japan. That impresses me because this is a tool that the Japanese use and have used for a very, very long time. And as far as the manufacturing goes, uh, they've got a pretty impressive record when it comes to making hand tools. Um, so that, that says a lot to me tells me that this is a quality product. Whether it actually is or not, we're going to find out. However, the fact that it says made in Japan and not in China gives me confidence that this is going to be a quality saw. So with that being said, let's set some things up and check it out. So we're going to make a cross cut here. And I've got a piece of material, some walnut in this case, uh, I'm going to be cutting this board in half. Uh, this material will eventually become part of a project that I'm currently working on. So we're going to use the cross-cut teeth of the double-edged saw. See how that does. So looking at the cut, you can see some striations here. Very, pretty clean cut, really. And the cut surface itself is really smooth. So it doesn't cut bad at all. Cuts pretty well. I got a little off my line there. But nonetheless, not a bad cut. Pretty impressive so far. So now we're going to use the Ryoba saw to create a rip cut in this piece of material. I have a line going down the center and I'm going to try to stay as true to that line as I can. So we'll see how this works out. So even though I went off my line a little bit, you can still see 
how cleanly that cut. If you look carefully, you can actually see the line that I made with my marking gauge right there. You can see it. And tear out is extremely minimal. I dare say that had I used a Western style saw, I don't think that I would have uh, had such clean edges. That's, that's impressive to me. It may not be to anybody else, but that's impressive to me. What's to be said about the Irwin Marple's nine and a half inch double sided saw? For me, in a word, impressive. I'm glad I bought it. I paid around $25 for it at a local big box store. I have a cross cut saw, I have a rip saw, but they're older. I need to tune them up, I need to sharpen them. I don't have time to do that right now. And so this was the best of both worlds for me. It allows me to rip the material that I want to rip, to cross cut the material I want to cross cut. It does it efficiently with ease. I read earlier today that the Japanese believe that you don't cut with strength, you cut with the saw. So this is money well spent. If you own one of these saws, please let me know what your experience has been in the comment section below. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this particular tool review. Take care.